Hello everyone, welcome to this special CUBE conversation here in our studios in Palo Alto, California. I'm John Ferrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media and co-host of the CUBE. We have a special preview of CyberConnect 2017, a global security conference um, presented by Centrify. It's an industry independent event. I'm here with the CEO and founder of Centrify, Tom Kemp. Tom, thanks for joining me on this preview of CyberConnect 2017. It's great to be here again. So you guys, obviously, as a company, no longer start on clearly clearing the runway on growth. Congratulations on the success. Um, this event will be broadcasting live on theCUBE, as folks should know on, on, on the site. CyberConnect 2017 is a different kind of event. It's really the first of its kind where it's an industry gathering, not just a black hat. I mean, RSA's got you know black hat and they try to weave a little business in. This is all about leadership in the industry. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, there's really a dearth of business-focused discussions with C-level people discussing the issues around security. And so what we found was, was that most of the conversations were about the hackers, you know, the methodology of going in and hacking in. And that doesn't really help the business people. They have to understand what are the higher level strategies that should be uh, deployed to make their organizations more secure. So we kind of wanted to up level the conversation regarding security uh, and help C-level people, board people, figure out what they should be doing. And we've obviously been reporting on SiliconANGLE, obviously the latest and greatest on hacks. Uh, you know, you're seeing everything from cyber threats, from real hacking to nuanced things like the rushing uh, dissidents campaigns on Facebook around, you know, voter impressions. And we saw that in the hearings in the Senate with Facebook got really grilled by, you know, is it a real threat? No, but is there, there, it is a threat in the sense that they're putting opinion shaping. So there's a broad range of business issues some are highly nuanced, some are very specific business value. You're out of business if you get hacked. So how do you see that? Because is that the discussion point? Is it more policy, all the above? What is the overall conversations going to be like at CyberConnect 2017? Yeah, I think it's, I mean, look, the reality is is that breaches before were about potentially stealing your data, but now it's an impact on your brand. Like what if the Russians were doing that to Pepsi or Coca-Cola, et cetera. I mean, they could just completely uh, set up a lot of negative sentiment uh, about you. So there's a lot of different ways to impact organizations as well. And so what we're doing at CyberConnect is putting forth uh, CIOs of Aetna, US Bank, and having them describe what they do. I mean, think about like, you know, a major healthcare company, Aetna, US Bank, the list goes on, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield. So we're talking to, and we're having the major uh, CISOs of these large organizations tell their peers what they're doing to protect their company, their brands, et cetera. Well, I want to get back to the business and impact in a second, but some notable keynotes here. Securing a nation in mid-change, a roadmap to freedom from retired General Keith Alexander, former director of the NSA and chief of the US Cyber Command. Uh, why is he there? What's the focus for his talk? Well, you can't ignore the government aspect. Well, first of all, government is a huge target, and we obviously saw that with the election, we saw that with the hack of the Office of Personnel Management, et cetera, and so, uh, you know, nation states are going after governments as well as criminal organizations. So, so General Alexander can talk about what he did to protect us as citizens and our government, but he also has a great insight in terms of uh, what hackers are doing to go after critical infrastructure. He's got uh, some experience thinking about it, so he's going to bring that thinking in. Absolutely, and he's going to give us an update on the latest vectors of attacks that are happening uh, and give us some insight on what he experienced trying to protect the United States, but also try to protect our businesses and infrastructure. So we wanted to have him kick things off to give uh, you know, what more, you know, the NSA, <laughs> the ex-NSA head I mean, telling us what's going on. And you got amazing guests here. I've got the CISO from Aetna, um, the chief security officer from Cisco, the global value chain. Um, you got all US Bank. You got Amazon Web Services here talking about the best practice of running workloads on an Amazon service yeah. cloud. So you got the gamut of industry, as Absolutely. well as some government people who have experience dealing with this uh, from a practitioner standpoint. What's the convoluence of that? What's the, thre the trends that are coming out of those kind? What can people expect to hear and, and look forward to watching the videos for? You know, I think it's going to be some of the trends that you guys talk about. It's like, how can you leverage AI and machine learning to help 
better protect your organization as well. So that's going to be one huge trend. I think the other trend, and that's why we have the folks from Amazon, is in a world in which we're increasingly using mobile and cloud and leaving the perimeter, you know, when in a world where there's no perimeter, yeah. how can you secure your users, your data, uh, et cetera? So I think the focus of the conference is going to be very much on leveraging modern and new technologies, AI, machine learning, discussing concepts like zero trust, and then also figuring out and helping people uh, really get some good ideas about as they make the move to cloud, how can they secure themselves and make themselves more secure than yeah. when they were when they had the traditional perimeter, you know, set up? I mean, given the security landscape, I mean, you know, you you and I discussed this uh, in, in in and around the industry. Go back seven years. Oh, cloud's unsecured. Now cloud seems to be more secure than on-prem because of the, the work that Amazon, for instance, they up their game significantly in that security, haven't they? Absolutely, and you know, it's interesting. It's, uh, I mean, you see it firsthand. I mean, Google comes out with announcements, Microsoft, Oracle, et cetera, and security is a key issue, and, and they're trying to uh, provide a more secure platform to get people comfortable moving with the cloud. At the same time, there's vendors such as Centrify that there's value add that we can provide. And, and one area that we specifically provide is in the area of identity, right? And mm -hmm. controlling who can access what as well. So um, yeah, it's, it, it completely reshapes how you do security um, and the vendors are contributing. And then what's so important that the, that, that the solutions uh, that you, we had before are being completely disruptive yeah. and they need to be completely uh, adopted for the new cloud world. I know it's your first event, you guys are underwriting this, it's, it's presented by Centrify, it's not sponsored by, it's not your show, yeah. although you're doing a lot of heavy lifting and supporting this. But your vision for this Cyber Connect is really more of a gathering amongst industry folks. We're certainly glad to be part of it. Thanks for inviting us, we're glad to be there. But this is not a Centrify only thing. Explain yeah. the, the presented by Centrify vis-a-vis -vis, uh, uh, this cyber connection. Yeah, so, so and we've also uh, put forth another organization that we've worked with. It's an organization called ICIT, the Institute for uh, Critical Information Technology. Um, and what they are is they're a think tank and they are very much about how can we support and secure the, the infrastructure of the United States as well. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't want this to be a vendor fest, right? We wanted to be able to have all parties, no matter what technologies yeah. they use, to be able to come together um, and get value of this, and and it, it's it, it's benefits Centrify mm -hmm. because it you know it, it raises awareness and visibility for us, but yeah. but even more important that we wanted to give back to the community and offer something unique and different. That this is not just another vendor fest show and yeah. um, et cetera. This is something where it, it, it's uh, a bringing together of really smart people mm -hmm. that are on the front lines of securing their organizations, and we just felt that so much value could be driven from it, because all the other shows are always about how you can hack an ATM and all that stuff, and that's great. That that's great for a hacker, but that doesn't really help uh, business people who or vendors trying to sell something, right? Exactly. Another platform yeah. to measure something. Yeah, we, we, yeah exactly. This is more so. of a laid back approach. Well, I think that's great leadership. I want to uh, give you some props for that. Thanks. I know, knowing you guys are very, as you said, community centric. And you mentioned community, this is about giving back and, and that's um, certainly going to be helpful. But security has always been kind of a community thing, but now you're starting to see the business and industry community coming together. Yeah. What's your vision for the security community at the CXO level? What's needed, uh, what's your vision? Yeah, I think what's needed is um, better sharing of best practices. Um, and uh, really more collaboration because the same attacks that are going to happen for say one healthcare mm -hmm. organization, the hackers are going to use the same mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, means and methods uh, as well. And so if you get the, the CISOs in the room together and hear what, what the others are experiencing, it's just going to make them more better. So the first thing is to open up you know, the, the communication. Um, the second thing is is that you know could we figure out a way from a platform or technology perspective to share that information and, and share that knowledge? But the first step is to get the people in the room to hear from their peers of what's going on, and frankly, government 
at one point was supposed to be doing it, it's not really doing it. So yeah. I think an a, a, a event like this can really help in that regard. Well, and also I'll just point out the growth in GovCloud and, and, and following some of the stuff going on on Amazon, for, as an example, is had been skyrocketing. So you started to see industry and government and coming together. Yeah. And now you got a global landscape. Mm -hmm. You know, this is interesting times. And yeah. you know, I want to get your your reaction to some of the things that have been been said here on the queue and also in, in out in the marketplace where you know it used to be state actor um, you know, game on state on state. Yes. And then they revealed their cards and they're out in the open. But now the states are sponsoring through open source and also in these public domains, whether it's a WikiLeaks or whatever, you're starting to see actors being subsidized or sponsored. And so that opens up the democratization capability for people to organize and attack the United States oh, and companies. Absolutely. I mean, you can right now, you can actually pay an or, they have a help desk. And you want, and it's like ordering a service, and you want, oh, you want 500, you know, bots going after this. I mean, yeah. smear uh, journalist for 10k. <laughs> <you know? laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's like it's as a service, you know, hacking as a service. They have help desk, uh, etc. And the the interesting thing is, it's a is business that model. It's a business model. You're absolutely right that people, it's all pay to play, right? Um, and uh, and just the number of resources being devoted and dedicated. I and mean, we're talking about thousands of people in Russia, thousands of people in North Korea, thousands of people in China. And what came out just recently is now that they're shifting their target to individuals. And so, you know, that now you may have an individual that there may be a person just dedicated to them in China or Russia or North Korea trying to hack into them as well. So it's getting really scary. Yeah. Um, and that's it's, why it's almost it's too hard for one company to brute force. This is where the collective intelligence of the community really plays a big difference on the on the best practices because mm -hmm. it, when you thought you had one model nailed, not just tech, the yeah. business model, yeah. you, it might shift. Yeah. So that's, it's, it seems like a moving train. Yeah, and I think there needs to be, and we're having like NIST uh, show up, and, and so we're getting the government, but I really think that there does need to be uh, kind of an, more of an open sourcing of knowledge and, and information to help better fine tune uh, you know, the, the machine learning that's needed and required to prevent these type of breaches. So what can we expect? Obviously there's a preview to the show. We'll be there Monday broadcasting live yeah. all day. Uh, what can people expect of the event uh, content wise? What are your favorites? Well, I mean, first of all, just the people that we have there. I mean, we're going to get the two CCOs from two of the biggest healthcare companies. We're going to get the former head of the NSA. We're going to get the CISO of US Bank. I mean, we're talking the biggest financial services organizations. We're going to have the biggest uh, healthcare organizations. We're going to have the people doing cyber. Uh, you get MasterCards there? Ma oh yeah, MasterCard. We're going to get the, we have the German government uh, there as well. I mean, so we've got government, both US uh, as well as uh, European. We've got all the big people in terms of that have to secure the, the, the largest banks, uh, the largest healthcare, uh, et cetera. So I think, and then we also have, you know, some, as you talked about, obviously Centrify is going to be there, but we're going to have AWS, and we're going to have some other folks from some of the, the, the top uh, vendors in the industry as well. So it's going to be a great mixture of government, uh, business, as well as, uh, you know, vendors as well, participating and contributing um, and, and talking about these problems. So it's an inaugural event. Yes. You're looking for some success. We'll see how it goes. We'll yeah. be there. Um, yeah. What can you expect? Are you going to do this every year, twice a year? What's the thoughts on the on the event itself? Well, it, it's been amazing, the, the response. So we just thought we were going to have 400 people. We sold out. We're, we're getting close to 600 people, and now we're going to have over 1,000 people that are going to be doing the live streaming. I mean, there's just a huge pent-up demand for this as well. So we actually had to kind of shut down registration mm -hmm. and said sold out you know, a week or two ago or so. Um, and, uh, and so far, it looks really good. Let's see how it goes, yeah. but it uh, looks like we can easily double this. And so, yeah. uh, and so we're, we're, we're already thinking about next year. We'll see how the, the event goes, but if you just look at the lineup, look at the interest or whatever, there's a pent-up demand to better secure government and enterprises. Yeah. And leadership like that you guys are taking as, as, as initiation, plus others coming together. We're certainly super glad to be a part of the community yeah. and we look forward to the coverage. This is really kind of what the industry needs. Absolutely. All right, Tom Kemp, the CEO and founder of Centrify, really fast growing startup, doing an event for the community. Very strong approach, I love the posture. I think that's the way to go <laughs> out of these vendor shows. 
you know how I feel about that. It's all about the community. This is a community. I mean, look at the Bitcoin, I mean, the blockchain. Know your customer anti-money laundering. It's an identity game. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, by the way, quick, is there going to be any blockchain action there? or is it? Uh, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't think so. so. <laughs> Next year. Next year, exactly. It's certainly coming. Uh, blockchain security as well as a lot of great topics. Check out CyberConnect 2017. If you can't make it to New York, they're sold out. TheCube.net is where you can watch it live. And of course, we'll have all the video coverage on demand on TheCube.net as well. So we'll have all the sessions and all the great stuff. Tom Kemp, CEO. I'm John Furrier from theCUBE here in Palo Alto. Thanks for watching. <laughs>